Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In previous video, I discussed citral aterpenoid, its structural elucidation and synthesis. Now in this lecture, I will discuss alpha terpeniol. This is also a terpenoid. So, alpha terpeniol is a major component of essential oil. It can be isolated from catpet oil, pine oil or petit grain oil and its small amount can also be isolated from eucalyptus, tea grass, apple and lime. If we see the physical properties, it is colorless crystalline solid. Its melting and boiling points are given here. It exists, it, uh, it occurred in uh, four isomeric form, alpha, beta, gamma and sigma. And if we see the uses due to its aroma characteristic order, it is used in perfumes, in soap industry, cosmetic products. It is also used in drugs such as anti-cancer, anti-ulcer drugs. So it is an antioxidant. Most important part of alpha terpeniol is its structure elucidation. Elemental analysis and the analysis through mass spectrometry, it yield that the molecular formula of alpha terpeniol is C10H18O and structural elucidations shows that its molecular formula, structural formula is this. So we can also write with line angle formula as shown in this red structure and so this is the structural formula of alpha terpeniol. <coughs> so in structural elucidation, first detection of unsaturation when alpha terpeniol is treated with bromine, then one molecule of bromine is added. It shows that there is one double bond present between carbon atoms. And similarly, a dibromo derivative is obtained in case of bromine and if we uh, do the hydrogenation then one molecule of hydrogen per molecule of alpha terpenol is added and we obtain dihydro derivative. So these results shows that one carbon carbon double bond is present. As molecular formula shows that oxygen is also present. So how can we detect that which what is the nature of oxygen atom when alpha terpenol is mixed with sodium hydroxide solution then it found insoluble it shows that there is no phenolic hyd uh, hydroxyl group is present as phenol react with NaOH. When alpha terpeniol is mixed with mild oxidizing agent so it do not it did not undergo oxidation it shows that primary and secondary alcoholic group are absent because primary and secondary alcoholic groups they react with uh, mild oxidizing agent and oxidize to carbonyl group. So if as there is no oxidation, so these groups are absent. When alpha terpeniol is treated with acetyl chloride, then monoacetyl derivative is formed. It shows that there is one hydroxyl group is present in alpha terpeniol. So whether the structure is open chain are there any ring present how can we detect when alpha terpeniol is hydrogenated then this saturated compound is formed it this saturated compound obeys this general formula of saturated cycloalkane it shows that there is present a ring in alpha terpeniol structure so what is the arrangement of carbon atom or which what type of carbon skeleton is present in alpha terpeniol when this compound is treated with sulfuric acid followed by heat dehydration takes place and corresponding structure compound is formed and parasimine formation it uh, shows that uh, the carbon skeleton present in the alpha terpeniol is show this type of arrangement parasimine like carbon skeleton is present. All this elucidated dat data shows that alpha terpeniol show this structure. Okay, now synthesis of alpha terpeniol. 
So, I will dis discuss synthesis from diethyl malonate. There are many other methods to prepare alpha terpeniol, but we will discuss this method. When diethyl malonate is reacted with base, then this acidic hydrogen is removed as ethoxide ion. This react on this hydrogen and the bond is shift on carbon and carbon ion is formed. This is further neutralized with this sodium ion. This carbon ion then react with acetyl chloride and negative charge Lee carbon attack on carbonyl carbon and in the second step chloride is removed and we get this structure. And this compound is treated with sodium hydroxide. So, ethyl and this hydroxide removed as ethanol and we get this sodium salt of this dicarboxylic acid. This further treated with HCl. So, these do both the sodiums are removed as NaCl and we get keto dicarboxylic acid which upon heated decarboxylated to form this beta keto acid. This beta keto acid is reacted with alcohol to form ester as H and OH is removed and we obtain this ethyl acetoacetate. This again treated with base and this acetic hydrogen is removed again carbon ion is formed which further attack on methyl bromide in such a way that this negatively charged carbon attack on this methyl group and bromide is removed sodium bromide is removed during this step and we get this structure. So, in as I discussed in these 1, 2 and 3 step. So, above steps are also followed here. In first step NaOH sodium hydroxide is mixed and ethyl alcohol is removed. In the second step HCl is added and then sodium chloride is removed and in the third step we heat this structure and carbon dioxide is removed and we obtain this butanone. This butanone is treated with tertiary butoxide in the presence of ethanol. Dehydrogenation takes place at this position and we get but 3 in 2 on and this molecule can be written with this arrangement and now this ketone is unsaturated ketone is treated with isoprenoid unit. So, this bond shifted to here, this here and this and ring formation takes place and we get this compound. This compound is treated with methyl magnesium bromide a kind of Grignard re reaction in the presence of ether. So, this methyl attacks on carbonyl carbon pi bond shift on oxygen and oxygen attack on magnesium and this compound is formed which upon hydrolysis magnesium bromide and OH from water is removed as this compound and hydrogen attached with oxygen and alpha terpeniol is formed. We can also write the alpha terpeniol like this. So, this is all about synthesis of alpha terpeniol and also this is all about uh, structural elucidation and synthesis and few of the properties of alpha terpeniol. Thank you very much.